Okay, liquid in glass thermometer. Uh, in our syllabus, there, there are a lot of thermometers we have. There's infrared thermometers, uh, thermocouples, uh, uh, resistance thermometer. There are a lot of thermometers, okay? But in the syllabus, you just need to know this liquid in glass thermometer. So liquid in glass thermometer works on the principle that liquids expands as the temperature increases and contracts as the temperature decreases. I think you know, right? This one, you have learned this in, when you are in a primary school, right? So the most commonly used liquids are mercury or alcohol. Mercury or alcohol. Eh? Now, you need to know the advantages and disadvantages of using mercury and the advantages and disadvantages of using alcohol. Eh? Okay, in this liquid in glass thermometer. Let's see the advantages and disadvantages of mercury. Eh? It does not wet the wall of the capillary tube. So inside this thermometer, it has a capillary tube. We, we call this the bore. Eh? Okay, so this is the thermometer, okay? So there's a tube, this capillary tube. This capillary tube is a small tube and we call this the bore. Okay, the bore. Eh? Mercury, it will not cling on the wall. It will, it will not stick on the wall like this. Okay, this is a mercury. Again, okay? some of it stick here, right? Okay, it does not cling on the wall. If it cling on the wall, then what you measure here is not accurate. But the advantage of uh, mercury is it will not wet the wall or cling on the wall. Eh? So this makes it more accurate. And uh, the color is a uh, silvery gray. Okay, it's quite dark, so it can be seen easily. It can be seen easily, then therefore you can read the readings easily. And it can expand uniformly when heated. This make it accurate, okay? Yeah, they say increase five temperature, uh, five degrees Celsius, it increase uh, two cm. Let's say yeah, the temperature increase uh, five degrees Celsius, it increase two cm. It increase another five temp uh, degrees Celsius, it increase another two cm. Then we say it expand uniformly, yeah, because for some object, initially, okay, change of five degrees Celsius, it may expand two cm, but uh, for another five cm, uh, okay, the temperature change, uh, the, the the expansion may be different, maybe. Initially, maybe 5 cm, after it may be 6 cm, or then it will be not accurate. But for mercury, we don't have this problem because it can expand uniformly when heated. And it's a good heat conductor, okay? Means the heat absorbed by the bulb, okay? This is called a bulb. Huh? So this is a bulb. So when the heat absorbed by the bulb, then uh, this uh, mercury will transfer the energy to the whole mercury, okay? Then the whole mercury will expand at the same time, and this make it more accurate. So these are the advantages of using mercury. Yeah, using mercury. Then how about the the disadvantages? Okay, for example, freezing point. Freezing point is negative thirty nine degrees Celsius. Okay. So then you cannot measure any temperature lower than negative thirty nine degrees Celsius. For example, in the Arctic and Antarctic, temperature can go down to maybe negative fifty, negative eighty degrees Celsius. Okay, then you cannot use mercury because the mercury is already freeze. Eh? freeze then it will lose its thermal properties uh, of expansions and contractions it's poisonous if you break this okay and then you have wound in your bodies okay so uh so if the wound touch get in touch with the mercury then okay it will poisons your skin and and your body okay another one is because uh it is also expensive con compared to alcohol eh? alcohol is quite cheap so these are the advantages and disadvantages eh? Then how about alcohol? Okay, alcohol advantages. Freezing point negative one one five degrees Celsius. Okay, is it, is it much lower than mercury, right? So uh, it's suitable for measuring low temperature, like the temperature in Arctic and Antarctic. Okay, and uh, is it expands greater than mercury? Just small change of temperature, it can uh, expand a lot. This can increase the accuracy. Yeah? Then how about uh the disadvantages is transparent so it's difficult to see so you need to color it you need to add some coloring eh? okay then if if not then it's very difficult to see always clings on the wall of the capillary tube so this one it will wet the capillary tube but when it wet the capillary tube that means that uh, the liquid that you see eh, that you see will be less than what it should be uh, then what you measure is not very accurate and it has tendency to break the tube at high temperature. Why? Because at high temperature, 
this mercury it will evaporate even boil or evaporate and when it boils or evaporates this it will exert a high temperatures to the tube the capillary tube and it will break the tube so if you have an alcohol thermometer you heat it up to around 70 to 80 degrees celsius eh? uh, then uh, it will break so if your house has uh, an alcohol thermometer then you can do this experiment so when it achieves about 80 eh? 70 to 80 degrees celsius alcohol in glass thermometer just only measure freezing point it cannot measure the boiling points of water because its boiling point is lower than water so it cannot measure the boiling points of water okay but then so just freezing point not necessarily must be freezing point usually it's used to measure the room temperature temperature of the air usually we do not use it to measure boiling point okay but you can use it to measure uh, freezing point eh? Uh, okay, this is another thing that you need to know. The characteristics of the liquid used in a liquid in glass thermometer. First, it must be a good conductor because uh, you need to conduct the heat so that the whole liquids expand at the same time. It cannot be a part of it expand and then other parts haven't received the heat yet so it does not expand, okay? Expand and contract rapidly over the wide range of temperature. Okay, so it must expand and contract very fast. Huh? does not cling to the wall of the capillary tube of the thermometer so these are the characteristics uh, of the liquids okay and you need to know this that uh, this may come up in essay question uh? uh then how to increase uh, the sensitivity eh? it can be increased by using a smaller mercury bulb okay this is the bulb uh. okay this is the mercury thermometers and this is the bulb is using a smaller mercury bulb. The bulb has a thinner wall. Okay, thinner wall means that the heat can transfer inside easier. And a smaller bore. Smaller bore, this is the bore, okay? This is the bore. Smaller bore means that if the, it, it, it just expands a little, so then it can increase a lot. Increase a lot means that you can, uh, it, you can read it easier, okay? You can read it easier if it, it expands a lot, okay? So you can increase the sensitivity yeah, by change the size of the bulb thickness of the wall and uh, the diameters of the bore eh? a smaller bulb contains less mercury and hence absorbs heat in shorter time and as a result it can respond faster to the temperature change a glass bulb with thinner wall can transfer heat to the bulb easier therefore the thermometer can respond quickly to smaller changes of the temperature near the surrounding the capillary with narrow bore produces a greater change in the length of the mercury column. Therefore, a small change in temperature can be detected easily. So, that's what you need to know about the sensitivity. Yeah?